Hello everyone, I am Kairil, I am a furniture designer. Okay, as you can see here, this is uh, my drawing. I designed this uh, five drawer dresser using a parameter setting. Okay, I open this top panel. Okay, inside top panel here, I have a third party embedding code. Then I will edit these files. Okay. These parameters I setting in SL files and then I import into event files. Okay, as you can see here, okay, my design the size is controlled by top length, okay, and then followed by top width, and then followed by draw face height. Okay, in this case, I set my draw face height. And then it will follow the rules for draw rows, and then it will set how many height will be. Okay, and then this here, I have two important things to tell you that what I'm doing now is to change from five draw tracer to become six draw tracer. In just a few clicks only. Okay, as you can see here inside this assembly, I already put this one partition, but I suppress it because this fibro dresser no need for partition. But I will show you how fast I change from one design to create a new design from one row of fibro dresser. To become a two row of six row dresser. Two row means a uh, two row of drawer and three row of drawer. Uh, sorry, two columns of drawer and then three row of drawers. Okay, first step. First step I do what I do is I import this as a files inside this top panel only. Again. I import this as a file inside top panel only. So if I check my parameters, all already inside here is only in top panel. What about the other part? Uh, the other part. Okay. For example, this side panel. Okay. This side panel. I link the parameters from top panel. As you can see here. Okay. From what I link is from Top panel, not from the SL files. Okay, it's SL files. You only need to link into one panel only. No need to link all because once you link to all all parts, when you need to rename the files, it will be it will be very hard for you. But if you can, uh, if you only import into top panel only, and then the rest panel, the rest panel. All link back to top panel, then your job will be easy. Okay. Now, what I will do is, I will close these files first. Okay, this file I will close. Okay, and then I save. Okay. Close. Okay. Close inventors. Totally close inventors. Okay. So this inside folder here, as you can see. Parameter changes. Okay, old version. I will check. Okay, if you have an old version, you need to delete the old version first. Okay, inside old version is no need. Okay, first you need to know what is a first level file. First level is this one assembly. If you have a drawing, then drawing is your first level. Okay, as you can see, this tutorial. Using this IPJ or event project files. Okay, event project files are control all items inside here. So include this file address. Okay, this one inside using that uh, par parameter. Okay, to do so, you need to copy this folder. Copy first step is copy. And then paste here. Okay, 
and then you need to rename change to 604 all right that's good okay first step uh second step you need to copy this ipg file okay copy this ipg file and then paste inside this super address paste here okay paste here and then need to rename for temporary again for temporary only six forward right that's good okay why why i copy this file inside here the reason is because you copy to folder but inside is the uh, the name still same still same as progress name so first you need to rename before you rename you must break the link to the original files to break the links to the original files that's why you need to create a dummy project files inside here okay so after that i double i activate this ipg file all right after I activate this ipg you can open you can open the smd to update all right yes okay and then once again the update okay after that open open this one open to panel okay and then i'll go to this parameter edit parameter okay for six row eraser the top length will be for example will be 1400 okay this good okay and then the next thing i will change is column number okay six row eraser have a two column number so i put it two change into two then partition number will be auto automatically set as one okay this partition number is actually linked to the assembly files again linked to the assembly files it will be linked to here okay it will be linked to here okay column number okay so link to here if this one zero that means no column and then this one will be changed to two then later on it will be set to okay so i go back to here okay and then row face height is steam next is drawer rows okay drawer rows will be three yes will be three okay gap distance is three okay that's good row face length okay this good okay this good this good okay row face length is derived from here okay as you can see it's derived from here inner wave length is derived from top length after you divide two okay that's good and then i hit button save okay and then i close and then i update before that i go back to top panel update this top panel file first okay and then hit button save close all right as you can see hit button local update and it will be changed so next i will be this file okay this file okay i simply unsuppress so your job is done okay that's it so save yes you all okay, okay close the assembly file close this one now i need to change the name to do so i will change the name on the assembly file first so this one will be 60 okay 60 that's good okay simply highlight and then copy okay and then next you need to change its part number 
this one, part number. Okay, I also need, also need to change. Alright, that's good. Okay, next, right click here and then go to design assistant. Alright, after go to design assistant, it will be down list here. Click manage and then it will be listing like this. And then what we need to do is start from second row. Okay, start from second row because the first row you cannot rename. First row you cannot rename. Only the second row and next only you can rename. First, first row you cannot rename. Alright, so click the second row, hit button shift on the keyboard, and then click on the last row. Alright, and then right click on the column action, click rename. Okay. And then simply double click here. Okay, double click in at here. And then double click on 5D and then paste. Alright, okay. So the rest is the same. Alright. Okay. 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 All right, click save. All right, updates complete. It's okay. Close, and then you will be see here already done. And then this one you can delete. Okay, no more in use. So next inside old version also need to delete. Okay, that's good. Okay, and then go back to original IPJ files. Activate this IPJ files and then you will see the changes. Now we need to check either our our files is crash or not. So simply open both files. Okay, cut row dresser. Okay, no problem. Then open six row dresser. Okay, six row dresser also no problem. So that's it. Okay, thanks for this video. And in the description below, you can go to the link below and then you can download these files. You can study for yourself or you have any questions or you have any troubles in your event design. You can email me and then you can ask me uh, if you need to create video for some problem you have. So I can do it for you. Just uh, let me know in the email below. So thanks for this video. See you next.